Good afternoon. My name is Tiranjit Kumar, working as assistant professor in Saint Martin Engineering College. Today, I want to discuss about DC transient response of series RNC circuit. Okay, it is related to the NADL circuit. NADL means network analysis and transmission lines. Okay, now. I would like to discuss about DC transient response of series RLC circuit. Okay, before going to the subject, I will just want to say what mean, what do you mean by transients? Transients are because of energy storage elements, which are nothing but the only parameters which are energy storage elements are nothing but either inductor or capacitor. Inductor or capacitor are sitting in energy storage elements and in the passive in the passive elements. All we have three R, L, and C parameters. But in the inductor and capacitor, we have to get energy storage element. But because transients are because of the energy storage element, what do you mean by transients? Transients are nothing but we do the excitation. If you apply any excitation, there is a sudden change of sudden change of voltages from one level to other level. Then, then due to the excited change of excitation, the voltage and current will be changes from one state to another state. Such that the the behavior of the voltage and current to change the one state to another state is said to be a transient response. Okay, let us take a simple circuit of series R and C circuit, such that we can able to we can able to write some equations regarding the series R and C circuit. Okay, now. But DC transients. In this, in order to find a DC transient for series R and C circuit, this is what simply we require to find a KVL expression for this loop. Okay. I assume the current in the circuit flowing that I is nothing but the amount of current flowing in the circuit. Here I am applying the KVL. The KVL stands for it is nothing but Kirchhoff voltage. Kirchhoff voltage. What is it sometimes? The energy delivered is equal to the energy consumed by other elements. That means the R G P sum of the voltages in any particular loop is equal to zero. Now the R G P sum of the voltages across R is equal to R. 
the voltage across the LED is not VL, the voltage across of C is not much VC. Okay, now I need to write an expression for this one. It is V minus of I into R. The voltage drop across the inverter is it is L into D I by D T and the capacitor, the value of capacitor is not but it is the voltage drop across the capacitor it is 1 by C integration of I into D T which is equal to 3. Okay, this is a linear expression for the given circuit. From this equation we can able to find the the amount what is the amount of current flowing through this circuit by applying some some of mathematical equations. Our mathematical equations such that here now for this given expression I am rewriting which is equal to B is equal to it is I into R I into R plus L into D I by D D plus 1 by C into integral of I into D. Okay. Now I am applying the applying derivative on both sides, applying the variable size is much but the applied derivative or differentiating with respect to dt on both sides will get some equation. That equation is nothing but here we are having the two energy storage element. If one energy storage element is given, it's nothing but this is a first order. We, we can able to frame the first order differential equations. If two elements are there, we can obviously be able to get the second order differential equations. From here, the voltage is the V. V is nothing but V are stated as a constant. DC source. DC source is nothing but constant excitation. For the constant excitation, And C value is equal to 1 by C. But in order to find the second order differential equations or it's an uh, algebraic equation, we require to find the rules for the different rules. It's not but it is B square minus B plus or minus it is B square minus 4A C divided by 2A. The two distinct rules are nothing but D1 and D2, which is equals minus B plus or minus B square minus 4A C divided by 2A. Directly I am writing the two distinct different rules here. B, B value is nothing but it is R by L plus or minus it is R by 2L whole square minus it is 1 by LC. This is the expression we got from the second order differential equation. 
this is the standard equation from here we are having the complex term the real term as well as the imaginary term here also we have the three different cases the case one which is nothing but r n r by 2 help whole square is greater than 1 by l c which is for positive if you apply this is this value as a positive we can able to this is the second order differential equation can able to convert it into the uh, complementary function which is not complementary function which is not but the form of i is the result of i i is not but the value of current value in this given circuit okay now i am able to find the value of current i is equal to by using the second order differential equation it is c1 into e to the power of n1 x plus it is c2 into e to the power of n2 x okay here we are having the two different proofs into the left of this plane in the control system we can able to say the two different proofs to the left of this plane which are but this system is said to be an over damped system over damped system if two different proofs are lying to the left of this plane it is said to be an over damped system and the response is nothing but the complementary function which is equal to i is equal to the value of current that the expression of current flowing through the circuit is equal to this c1 into e to the power of m m1x plus c2 into e to the power of m2x but here it is a mathematical derivative formula but for this mathematical derivative formula we can able to find where m1 is nothing but m1 sometimes are m1 some books are taken as m1 or d1 okay it is nothing but it is an k1 plus k2 and d2 or m2 is equal to it is k1 minus of k2 now here k1 and k2 is nothing but the real term and as an as term now apply here i is equal to it is c1 into e to the power of k1 plus k2 into t plus with respect to t here are given as x and here are given as t it is a general formula and this is our electrical circuit formula it is c2 into e to the power of k1 plus k minus of k2 k1 minus k2 into t Okay, this is a, in the case one. This is the first expression. First expression.